Welcome back. Sometimes connecting an adult wanting to adopt is as easy as showing them a photograph of the child. And here locally, the Pinellas and Pasco Heart Gallery displays beautiful portraits of foster children. It is an independent charitable organization and it is changing lives almost every day simply with photographs. Tiffany joins us now. Tiffany Ficus is the executive director of the Heart Gallery. Tiffany, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. The history of the Heart Gallery, where did this start? Where did it begin? It actually started in 2001 in New Mexico. There was um, a photographer that had been volunteering with the, the foster care system and she, they were tired of seeing the little mug shots that they had for the children. And she said, why don't we take professional photos of these children mm -hmm. and see if we can uh, attract people's attention. And from there, um, it's grown to a national organization. Um, uh, this was started in 2006 in Pinellas and Pasco County as a grassroots organization that's grown over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very simple concept, but it's been very effective. Um, if you get a chance to uh, see a picture of a child, all of a sudden it's, it's a reality. They're a real living, breathing person, not just a number, not just a statistic. So you, you have a chance to fall in love with a child. And uh, that's our goal, is to, to give uh, prospective parents a chance to fall in love. It puts a face to a name. Right. And especially those sweet smiles and faces. You, As I was looking through at some of the children, it just it melts your heart. It does. It, it does. It truly does. They has, we have some very talented photographers. Um, some of the children that we work with uh, have disabilities. And mm -hmm. uh, there was a case recently of a, a child um, in a wheelchair that had very little mobility, didn't was nonverbal. And it was a real struggle to, to find a photographer that was comfortable, but the photographer we found, I mean, the picture that he took is, is, is literally heart melting. It's a beautiful, it's a piece of art of oh. this, this challenged child that is still desperately needs a family, and we've had uh, many inquiries about him. And I'm sure it's got to give these children some confidence to say, hey, we want to take your picture, and here's your picture. You right. know, you feel sometimes more important when somebody's taking your picture. Well, and part of us, part of my attitude is it should be an experience for the child as yeah. well. Um, there was a, another little girl um, recently who also has disabilities. Not all of them do, but this mm -hmm. one. Um, and in her last picture, she was self-conscious. She said she felt like she looked like a boy. So um, one of our volunteers said, well, why don't we just put on her dress? And so we found this, this green frilly dress with the collar and the photographer took her to some resort place and they have her just pose sitting like this, her legs are crossed, her dress, and she just is giggling. And again, she hasn't had very many inquiries previously, and now we're flooded with inquiries on this child. Really? So It made that much it of made, a difference? It made a big difference because uh, this wow. photographer really brought out the personality of the child. So mm -hmm. again, it's not just, oh, Effie, these are her statistics. It's this child. I, I want to make her smile like that. You know, That's how, great. how do I... Now, these photographers are very important to you because they right. are the ones taking the pictures, but I, don't they volunteer their they time? They do. Um, it's, it, it's entirely donated. Um, they volunteer their services. Uh, wow. We don't pay them. We make sure they have acknowledgement. And, and many of them come back to us all the time saying, when can I do another picture? They say this is one of the highlights of their career is being able to give to share their talents to help a child find a family. Have you ever had an opportunity where you've had a photographer adopt one of these children? We haven't, though many of them <laughs> come back saying, oh, this one, this yeah. one, you know, but it, yeah, I think, um, I think they might if yeah. they could. Well, but they've been tempted for sure. We'll, we'll hope so. We hope that I'll happens. let you know if it happens. <laughs> <laughs> the Heart Gallery itself, do you have a permanent location? No, it's a traveling gallery. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, no. We have the, the main gallery are three large panels that travel around. Uh, we just set them up at the Mahaffey Theater. Um, so they'll be there for the next month, and then it goes to the YMCA, and so we, we try to travel around locations in Pinellas and Pasco County. Okay. Um, and we are always looking for locations for the, the, uh, the large gallery, but we're also starting to uh, launch permanent mini galleries um, that stay in that location, and we change up the, the portraits. Like they have one at Tropicana Field, mm -hmm. there's one at Clearwater Marine Aquarium, mm -hmm. and um, also Great Explorations. We're, we're in discussions with um, Countryside Mall, about doing a permanent. Well, mall um, would be a great um, place. We, we're there all the time, but the idea is having a permanent installation that tells the story of the Heart Gallery, mm -hmm. and then we change the portraits out periodically. Mm -hmm. um, and that's my goal is to get many more of those because you really don't need a large space for that. Um, so that's we're always looking for people that want to do that as well. So anyone who has a large location or a large office uh, would like large, to just right? contact you, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And you can do the display, and it travels around. Right. How big is your display? So the panels are 10 by 10. Mm -hmm and there's three of them so you can have one panel or three panels okay. um, so you do need a large location for that like a um, but that's the idea of the permanent mini galleries that you really just need a small wall space if you can give me a little wall space this big mm -hmm. 
that we can have permanently, we can have a designer create something that would work and stay there as a permanent installation, more as a, p a piece of art. All right. Besides volunteer photographers, you also are looking and accept volunteers from the community to help? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. um, we need volunteers all the time. Um, we need everything from clerical work to, uh, we do a fundraiser every year, we need help with the committee for that. Um, occasionally we do match events. We work, we partner with the, the system to do match events and we need volunteers for that. So but we always need help, but we have uh, two and a half staff, so. <laughs> Two and a half. <laughs> the half one's part time, so. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Um, so, for the children that you're helping, how mm -hmm. many has the Heart Gallery helped here locally so far since the, its inception? Um, in the past six years, we estimate around 200, close to 200 adoptions. Okay. Um, just in this past year, we had a large number of matches that, you know, we had close to 50 matches that probably will be adopted this year. I mean, once they're matched, it takes three to six months for the adoption to be finalized. So um, yeah. that number ebbs and flows. Uh, Taylor is one of our success stories. Aww. Taylor was a Heart Gallery kid, and I said he's always a Heart Gallery kid. Always going to Once be. a Heart Gallery kid he is. We, we're there at the adoption finalization also, and that's Aww. that's certainly the best part of our job. That's special. So someone contacts you, someone says, I think I see a child on your website mm -hmm. that I'm falling in love with. Right. What's the process from there? They uh, There's an online form that they fill out, okay. um, a referral form, so we then, and it asks the questions, have you done a home study? Have you done the, the tr uh, parenting training classes? Mm -hmm. um, we try to get those basic questions answered, and once that's done, then we send it to their case manager. So that's sent it on to the case management system. So the inquiries, we don't handle the inquiries ourselves. We just collect the information, and then we li liaise with their case manager to make sure they have the right information. Okay, it's that simple. It's very simple. All right. Well, we're going to give the website information at the end of right. the show, so we'll make sure everybody knows where to find the Heart Gallery. Right. And also notice you had a list of locations of where you'll be on display. So yes. hopefully we'll get some folks to go visit and adopt Great. these beautiful children. That would be wonderful. Tiffany, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.